Hey Taurus, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and use the Romance Angels Oracle today in addition with your reading. So I want to see what pops out, see what's here for you Taurus. Let's get it. Okay. You guys are ready. <laughs> All right, so here I have give your relationship a chance. Okay. But then I have release your ex and I have separation. Somebody may need to release um, other people. Um, that's what I'm saying. Of course, this could be releasing your ex, meaning that, you know, some of you guys are going to move on. But that energy of failure is still in your is still inside of you in your energy. So, yeah, because, you know, you, you can't get a really good relationship here when it talks about give your relationship a chance. You can't really give your relationship a chance if you're going to get with a new person and you still have bad memories of other people inside of you. You can't do that. And here with separation, you know, this is just talking about, you know, dealing with people from your past. Right now you're separated from them. And some of you guys want to be with that person from the past. So we're going to go ahead and get a few more. I love that it's telling the story because for some, this is releasing because you need to let go. And for others, you're just in separation. So really good. Here I have passion. Ooh, allow your heart and soul. You will be, you will be singing. <laughs> I definitely see passion here because I, I feel a person in your energy. Um, so we're going to see what this is all about. Engagement. Wow. So some of you guys are really going to be going into a very strong connection. I think I've actually said that before to you guys. I'm here. Honeymoon. Ooh. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be meeting someone who's going to be very serious. Um, and you guys are going to be able to relax and enjoy each other. That's what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> and let's get one more. And this talks about let go of control issues. I love the fact that this come out so much for earth signs. It's so funny. Um, you know, just let things flow. Let things go in its natural place. I mean, uh, pace. I do believe that a lot of you guys are about to, um, you know, uh, come across a very strong connection. But some of you guys have been feeling like, you know, you're not going to have love in your life. Please understand that you are valuable. Yes, you do deserve love. Um, you know, kind of get rid of that negative thinking because I feel like some of you guys have been feeling that way. Some of you guys have been single for a long time um, and you're just needing passion in your life. You need that that embrace. OK, and releasing your ex is also saying release that negative thinking of what has happened in the past, all of that. So this is this is basically like a whole bowl of what's happening with a lot of you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get your reading just to see what's happening. But yeah, this is interesting. Taurus. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have for you in your tarot. Love is definitely coming in your life. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and get Taurus card, please. Oh, yeah, someone is going to be happy. Some of you guys may not be feeling that way now, but you will definitely be having something to be feeling joyful over. Ooh, I told you. <laughs> we saw that engagement and we saw honeymoon for some of you you know you guys may actually be getting like a very strong marriage type of thing you know this is amazing so Taurus I mean what can we say I mean you, you definitely have energy here of you know, um, you know, happiness and partnership and someone coming in being more serious. It may have taken a very long time. I get it. I'm here with the high priestess. A lot of you guys are so spiritual, um, very intuitive here. And I believe that a lot of you guys are at a point where this is like, this is going to be your moment. This is going to be it. Okay. This is that breakthrough that a lot of you guys have been really needing to feel someone finally coming in. And you know, this is like, yes, it's finally here. This is this moment. Okay. Uh, but a lot of you guys have been just, you know, within just very quiet about what you're really feeling in your heart and in your mind. And then this is just going to be everything. I mean, your, your cards are amazing here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more and then we're going to clarify Taurus. Yeah. Taurus, you guys were at one point, you guys were going through a lot. So 
I love to see it. I love to see this. And you see how I was saying before how some of them have something to do with releasing the ex. So for some of you guys, yeah, you know, you might be holding on to some holding on to someone who's not going to be right for you anyway. Okay. Um, you're 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 kind of blocking your blessings here with this Knight of Pentacles. This person needs to come in. Um, you know, you had to release people, um, and there is a go the Queen of Swords, you had to release people because they were juggling you and other people here with the lover's card. You could tell that's what they were doing. Um, but you know, this is part of forgiving too. You need to be able to forgive and let go and not focus on what has happened in the past, but focus on your future. Some of you guys don't know what to do, to be honest here with the two of swords. You really don't. Okay. Um, and I feel like your person that you may be thinking about or dealing with, they don't know what to do. And so part of that is being able to release things, let things go. That tower card talks about releasing too. Uh, things, you know, going bad, going south because of what has happened. Um, but you definitely have love coming in. I feel like um, for a lot of you, that's the reason why that Nine of Cups is there. You know, even though a lot of you are not feeling happy, I feel like that is where you guys are going to go. So it's all about what you do. Okay. You are the conductor of your life. So let's go ahead and get this. We're going to start. Um, we're going to start with clarifying with that Nine of Cups. I usually only do one card, but I just wanted to see. Oh yeah, you guys, you know, you you. This is why I say I know you guys haven't been feeling happy, but you will because you feel rejected. You know, you feel like you just want to leave. You want to just you know go on about your business because this person you found out the truth about something here with the Ace of Swords. Um, you know, I don't believe you or your person is talking right now. I feel like maybe they'll try to come back in here with the Six of Swords to so apologize. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but I do feel like good things are going to happen um, now if it's with them. We'll see. But um, I definitely feel like, you know, you're getting clarity on your life and what you need to do. Let's go ahead and get the lover's card. Oh, yeah. Knight of Wands. This person who you guys were dealing with people who were not serious. None whatsoever. I knew it when I saw that juggling and that lover's card. This is what this is about. You need to release. But this is why, here we go, separation was there because they're going to keep coming back in. So it's going to be up to you. This is why I said this is you. I knew it. That two of swords. Like, what do you want to do? You know, do you want to be happy? Uh, they, you know, they have to get out of this Knight of Wands energy. They cannot be coming in and out. So here you have a knight that's in and out and they're just like not serious. And then the Knight of Pentacles, this person generally really is serious. So let's see if this is two different people. Let's see who this person is, the Knight of Pentacles. This could be you, you know, working. Some of you guys are trying to get a new job. This is an offer coming in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is justice here. Absolutely. This is justice for you guys. This is also career and money. I do feel like, you know, there's going to be a sense of relief here with you. You're going to focus on yourself. I do feel like for some of you guys, you will meet someone who possibly is, a, you know, maybe they are an earth sign. But for right now, I feel like you guys need to focus on yourself because regardless, you're going to get justice out of the situation. Okay. And it, it'll come and it'll come in whatever way the university fit for you. But right now, I do feel like, you know, you can't be dealing with people who are not serious, who are hurting you. Um, no, let's go ahead and get this high priestess hiding things. Mm -mm. Some, of, some of them were hiding, you know, some of you guys may have been a secret. Some of them, some, some of them were hiding, you know, that they had another girl or, or a, a man. They had children by them. This, this is what this could be. They could be married. Like it was just too much here. Okay. Um, you know, and I do feel like this is, again, I feel like you guys are going to be really good as far as money, but I feel like your person was dealing with other people and it may have been a long-term community relationship that they were in and you got kind of caught up here with this hangman, but some things you got to let go. Let's go ahead and get the hangman here. Yeah, but see, I feel like a lot of you guys can't let it go because they keep coming back. Okay. You guys may have to run away. <laughs> they keep coming back because they feel like they know they can come back. Okay. Um, but again, you know, I feel like here with this two of pentacles, you cannot be juggled. Let's get the two of pentacles. 
You know, exactly. Juggling energy, secret energy. Who are you in this connection? Um, you know, a lot of bad habits, you know, unhealthy, you know, toxic traits. Somebody is keeping secrets and being a secret, you know, it's, but, it, but it's a, a lot of, a lot of energy of not being able to let go here. Okay. You know, some things you gotta let it go. I mean, this is just what it is. Um, you can't be secrets. You cannot be, you know, allowing this person to do what they want to do to you. No, part of this is being able to release and let go. And I see that here. You, some of you guys were holding on to this really tightly at one point, but I think now you're getting tired. Okay. Um, of dealing with the, the nonsense. Let's go ahead and get the Queen of Swords. I feel like it's going to be other opportunities here, though. Yeah, see, you don't want to be a part of this. Six of Swords, I do believe that you guys are going to be having your sights set on other people. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be very victorious here. But your person likes a lot of attention. They are dealing with different people. But I do feel like you guys, um, you know, making this decision, you know, this was hard, but you are going to release this for the most part. And, you know, and focus on it on your future. F focus on who can come in and make you happy. But this is what I'm saying here for you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I love you, Taurus. Um, if you guys are new, again, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye.